Hello. Today we're going to be looking at how uh, we got, uh, how to produce a cooling curve, and we're going to use the chemical steric acid for that. So steric acid is a solid at room temperature, but it has a melting point below the boiling point of water. So it is relatively easy to melt in a lab situation. So what we're going to do is we first of all we're going to we're cheating a bit. We're going to put some boiling water into our beaker over our Bunsen burner. Okay, it doesn't need to be full. We need to be very careful when doing this because obviously of the stability. Okay, so if we we, don't, we want to make sure that we can't knock it and we can't and that the beaker is sat on there properly so that we can't knock it off. We're then going to take a boiling tube which has got you know about three or four centimeters depth of steric acid in it. Okay which is more than enough to cover the entire bulb of a standard liquid in glass thermometer. Now it's important that we make sure we have sufficient steric acid to cover the bulb of the thermometer, otherwise we won't get accurate results. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the steric acid down into the boiling water and we're going to hold it there using a clamp and stand. Okay. Because now it's important that we make sure that the level of the steric acid is below the water line of the boiling water in the beaker but the boiling tube is not touching the bottom of the beaker as that can cause the beaker to crack. We're going to set our Bunsen burner to safety flame and then we're just going to light it and we're just going to nicely heat our solution of water okay, so that we can get the steric acid to melt. Okay, We can use our thermometer. There we go. Alright, so steric acid will melt within a few minutes in this setup. Okay? Now, while we're thinking about this, okay, we can be drawing up a table okay, for our results. What we're going to do once we've got the steric acid melted is we're going to take it out of the boiling water okay, and we're going to measure the temperature. We're going to start our stop clock and we're then going to take a reading of the temperature off the thermometer every 30 seconds until we get the temperature down to 40 degrees C. Okay, now we're melting it and then it's going to come back into a solid and we're going to go beyond it becoming a solid. Okay. Um, the data we've got can be plotted onto a graph to give us the cooling curve. Now it's important that we make sure that the steric acid is completely melted in the water before we begin, before we begin taking any readings. Now it does take a couple of minutes. And we can control the rate of boiling of our water by just opening and closing slightly our valve to change from a roaring flame to just a standard heating flame. As we don't want the liquid to overboil, we just want to make sure that it is at a reasonable temperature so that we can quickly melt our steric acid. While we're doing this, obviously, we should be making sure that we're wearing our safety glasses because we are dealing with not only a chemical but also a hot chemical and a hot liquid. So we're about three quarters melted now. It's, as I say, a fairly quick process. And the current temperature of the steric acid is about 80 degrees. Now, you will be able to see by looking through the beaker at the boiling tube, um, slowly the little remaining lump of steric acid dissolve. Yeah, a tiny little bit left. Oh, 
Right, now our solution has, our solid has completely turned into a liquid, we're going to turn off our gas, okay? then using the boss head we're going to raise our boiling tube so it's out of the water, okay? we move it away from the hot water. Now the reason we're doing this is that we, want, we don't want the heat here from the hot water and the steam to affect the rate of cooling of our steric acid. So we're going to take an initial reading from our thermometer, which in this case is 84 degrees. We're going to press start on a stop clock, and then we literally, every 30 seconds, take another reading, take another reading. It's important that when you're taking the readings, you don't take the bulb of the thermometer out of the liquid. It must stay in the liquid, otherwise you're going to be getting uh, a temperature change. And there's also a slight lag in how the thermometer changes because it's a liquid in glass thermometer. You would get more accurate and slightly quicker results if you were using a digital thermometer or a thermocouple. Alright, and we're just going to keep doing that every 30 seconds until the um, steric acid is completely solidified and we've got down to 40 degrees C. Thank you.